Hello, tribe friends. Hello, oily friends. It is <laughs> awesome to be going live in the tribe tonight to talk about one of my favorite subjects with some of my favorite oils. It has been quite the interesting evening here today. I felt like I was winning at life. The girls got up from their nap and I had the stuff ready because we're watching um, kids Bible study at six online. So I had them like in their bath before then so that they were ready to go for Bible class at six when we were watching the Facebook Live and they were so happy, both of them just clapping and singing their little songs. I have these activities printed out for Lila to do tomorrow. Dinner was like warm on the stove. Um, Drew was outside doing some things and I felt like I was winning at life. Do you ever feel like this? <laughs> you ought to know that something is coming when you feel like you're winning at life because no sooner did we finish the Facebook Live Bible class, we were watching where the girls were singing along and we were learning about Noah's Ark. Did Lila fall out of her chair at the kitchen table and face first on the kitchen tile? So last couple of hours have gone differently around here than I had planned. Dinner was dry and cold by the time that we ate it just now. Lila didn't eat it because she's got a busted lip and we were having tacos, so she's in there finishing up a banana and yogurt. But she's got a busted lip, a busted mouth, a busted nose, busted all the things. So, fun times. I need this oil, emotional oils even more than usual. I could barely get my stomach to like unclench while I was sitting trying to eat dinner just now. Aubrey was screaming in her bouncer, Lila was screaming in blood, and Daddy was outside, and I was trying to find him, and all the things, all at the same time. You guys who have kids, you know. Okay, so let's chat about the Great Day Protocol. Hi, friends. If you're watching live, say live in the comments. This will help our other tribe friends to see it, because when Facebook sees that we got lots of participation on a video, comments, and stuff, they um, show it to people in their news feed. So shout out live for me in the comments if you're watching live. If you watch this later, shout out replay. And that is the way um, Facebook will know to show the video to our friends. Kind of crazy how that all works. So let's talk about the Great Day Protocol. This is one of my favorite protocols. It has some of my favorite oils in it. And some of these oils I use every day no matter what. Harmony is kind of the big hitter that I bring in when I'm doing specifically the Great Day Protocol for a period of time. Um, but I read all about this protocol when we were going through secondary infertility and then going through adoption. And my mood and emotions were not great, right? So I needed something to grab a hold of more than just remember to put your oils on in the morning. Like I needed a plan to come back out of the funk and this really, really helped me. This plus obviously prayer and other things too, but this really helped me. Um, and it is an amazing protocol designed by Gary Young to help you have a great day, but it has so much more to it than that. These four amazing oils. Shout out if you love Valor, Joy, White Angelica, Harmony, if you use any of those, tell us how you use them in the comments because that makes up the great day protocol. So I've done a lot of reading on this protocol over the years, so I just wanna tell you a little bit about it and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, the reason this comes up, one, we had to postpone our hormone Zoom because Leslie's not feeling well. She doesn't have the coronavirus, it's okay. We pushed it back to Thursday and I thought, but I still wanna go live and bring some information that would be pertinent to people's lives right now. And I started thinking, what do we all need when we're quarantined in the house with our family for days and days on end? I don't know where you live, but in North Texas, we're not only quarantined up in the house together one week and counting, but it is cold, dark rain. We've literally been able to go outside two times and go like walk in the park and get out of here the rest of the time stuck in here, cold, dark rain. So that has not been very much fun. Um, and it starts to affect your mood for sure. I posted a couple of days ago that I noticed I was going to the bad place. I had not put any oils on my body all day long. I went an entire day without running the diffuser. Um, I didn't take my supplements. I wasn't feeding myself. I was feeding everybody else, just not me. That is when I know that my 
Routine has gone out the window and things are not going to go good. So all the time, every day, I use Valor White Angelica and Joy. That is just part of my all the time protocol for my morning. I have them in my bathroom. I put thieves on my feet and Valor on the back of my neck and Joy over my heart. And I like White Angelica on my shoulders most days too. But let's talk about this protocol, the whole protocol together with Harmony. Um, the Great Day Protocol is a way to give yourself a few moments of self-care in the morning and set your intentions for the day, okay? I like to pray as I'm putting on my oils in the morning and slow down. Some days I don't get to because I'm a mom and I'm running to try to get like in front of everything, but I like to slow down and smell my oils when I'm putting them on in the morning. Like they're not doing as much good for us. Just roll, roll, slap, slap on your body and run than they would be if you took a moment and smelled them, enjoyed them, and kind of put some thought into what you were doing. So in addition to setting the tone for the day, those who have made the Great Day Protocol a daily ritual have said they've noticed some of the following things. More attention to details. Slowing down, right? Communication is more solution-oriented with others instead of problem-oriented. Increased enthusiasm. I noticed the day that I diffused Happy Camper in my house, which is joy and bergamot and orange this week because we were having dark, cold rain, and it was really getting to all of us. It was the day after I didn't diffuse at all and I realized I was in a funk. We all were so happy those day, that day. I got so much done, just kind of flitted around and it just brought joy to my day. So that was awesome. Um, more follow through with projects, increased positivity, more of an open outlook, better ability to handle stressful situations and a calmer demeanor. I can attest to the most of those things, especially the calmer demeanor. I have to tell myself to slow down and not rush around so much, especially with my girls. Slow down, breathe, enjoy the day, stop rushing around all the time. Um, some people use this protocol as their good luck blanket when they head out to like an important day. Others use it in the morning as part of yoga, prayer, meditation. People use this with their kids before a big project or when they're getting rowdy and they want to calm them down. The protocol gives them something fun to do that engages their senses and creates a positive shift in their energy. So it's a great way to start any kind of class or any kind of day or stop the day when everybody is a little cranky. Um, when we talk about harmony in a minute, I'll tell you why I carry it in my diaper bag for just that reason. Okay, so step one. Balance the body with valor. Okay, don't be too jealous, okay? But here is my 15 mil valor that I got a little while back when you got the diffuser and, and the 15 mil valors and the 15 mil peace and calming. So I finally let myself open my 15 mil valors and I've had this one on my side table in the living room. So in addition to putting it on in the morning, I've kept it near me these days with all this uncertainty, all this anxiety, all of the things in the news, being stuck in the house. So let's talk about Valor. First, we know that Valor is amazing for anxiety. It's the number one oil I would attribute to helping me get off of anxiety meds, part of my all the time routine. Valor is free this month with 100 PV orders on ER, and we have been shouting that from the rooftops because everybody needs Valor. Normally our 100 PV freebie is like about $10 value. This is a $40, this is more because this is a 15 mil, but let's pretend I'm holding a five mil. That's a $40 bottle of oil that they're giving us for free at 100 PV this month. So I've been pretty intentional about making sure people know that they're close to it, that it's out there and they need to not miss it. So let's talk about Valor. Valor helps with anxiety. Valor helps with mood. Valor helps with sleep. Valor helps with bruises. Valor helps your husband to stop snoring so that you can sleep. Valor is chiropractor in a bottle. Seriously, I put it up and down my spine before I go to the chiropractor. And the days I remember to do that, she's like, wow, everything popped really well today. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I remembered my Valor. Valor is amazing. That's why we all love it. it has a beautiful blue color, which was alarming to me at first. I like to put it on the back of my neck and on my wrist in the morning, okay? But this is step one of the Great Day Protocol. It says place a, dro a drop in the palm of your left hand 
not exactly sure why left hand I think it has to do with something with most of us being right-handed but gently rub your palms together bring your oil palms to your nose and inhale if you have some valor do this along with me you guys we've got to stop and smell the roses so to speak and smell our oils I've got to stop just slap 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 slapping them on me in the morning so that I can run out of the bathroom as fast as I can take a minute and smell an oil that you're applying Set your intention for the day. Place another drop on the inside of your wrist and hold your wrist together for a moment, okay? As you hold the pulse points of your wrist together, breathe in the oil blend and take a minute to be still while affirming your intentions for the day. This is when I like to pray in the morning when I'm doing this, but this says you can affirm your, your affirmations say affirmations if you have them think about your intentions for the day think about being positive think about being joyful think about whatever it is that you want to accomplish with your day i love holding my wrists together like this particularly with valor everything gets all warm and tingly and i'm not sure why and i'm not sure why it works better with valor than other oils but that it feels like kind of amazing and warm and tingly like going up my arms Okay, so we put the Valor in my left hand, <sighs> smelled the oil, put a drop on the inside of the wrist, hold it together for a minute. Breathe, pray, think about your day, say your affirmations, set your intentions about how you want your day to go stuck in the house with your kids, okay? All right, step two, we're moving past Valor. Let's talk about harmony. And all of these steps are on that graphic that I put in the group and I can put it in the comments here too. Harmony is not one I use all the time. And you notice it wasn't part of my all the time protocol. I probably should. It's a little bit more expensive. So I'd say use your points on this. Um, I do carry it in my diaper bag though for when, you know, we're in public and my girls are not being very harmonious. <laughs> This is one that someone stopped me in the airport when we were leaving convention one year in Salt Lake City. So lots of oily friends flying home. And Lila was two and she had thrown herself in the middle of the walkway at the airport and was throwing herself a big fit. And we were having to pick her up and I literally had to throw her over my shoulder to walk, you know, and get out of the way of all the people. You know, you've seen the thing, you've done the thing. And a lady comes up to me and she's like, okay, sorry but I have um, a suggestion for you have you tried harmony I'm like no I've tried everything else this was terrible too time period right I've tried literally everything else and she's like okay so harmony and I have some in my bag can I put it on her I'm like yeah sure okay so she gets harmony out puts it on Lila I kid you not like two minutes later she is happy playing around in the seated area at the airport like giggling and all the things and I'm like thank you goodness so I went home and got it with my points and we started using it and harmony got me through the terrible twos and all the tantrums for a while I applied it on the back of her neck every single morning to like set the tone and I noticed when we skipped I kept it in my bag for church okay I put another drop on her right as we were setting down for church when she was gonna have to be quiet I kept it nearby for like public tantrums, okay. So I've got a roller in my purse for both girls with Harmony in it, and then I carry it in my bag for myself too. This Harmony oil brings all of these other oils together. Like this is the thing that ties the Great Day Protocol in together and makes it work. So calm your mind, promote positive feelings with Harmony. Place a drop on your left palm, Rub your palms together, in, inhaling the oil blend. So again, you're taking a minute, smelling the oil. Place a few drops on your solar plexus, just below your sternum and above your belly button, okay? So this actually works. I put a drop like right under my sternum right here between there and my belly button when I'm doing the great day protocol or I have a roller on it and I roll it there and that really seems to help just like joy over our hurt helps harmony right in here helps it just kind of brings our body calms us down helps our emotions to be harmonious it helps everybody to get along it's the get along oil okay and sometimes we need that 
Right now would be one of those times. Okay, you have to look yourself when you go to get harmony with your points at how many cool oils are in there. That's why it's expensive. It has got like the best oils in there. Good stuff. Pretty sure there's like rose and sandalwood and all kinds of awesomeness in here. Just like a mile of awesomeness in here. So many good things. I'm not saying them all, but I see Ylang Ylang, Frank, Angelica, um, Black Spruce, Jasmine, Rose. So many good ones. Okay, moving past Harmony. Going on to Joy. We all know why we love Joy. We talk about that in this group a lot. Joy is one of my favorite words. It's my grandmother's name. I named Aubrey, Aubrey Joy for a reason. Joy has like been its huge spiritual awakening for me in the past few years. Not the bottle of oil. The actual joy. Joy of the Lord. Finding joy, choosing joy instead of happiness. And having to chase around happiness all the time. But that is a topic for another day. Um, joy. Left palm again. Okay. Rub your hands together. Slowly inhale the scent. Place your hands on your heart. If you're looking to become more open-hearted, use these moments to think about that. Um, I like to put a drop over my heart every morning. So I probably would just smell it from the bottle maybe and then put it on my heart and just rub my hands together. So a drop of joy over your heart and in your hands, take a deep breath of the joy. You guys, joy over my heart has been a part of my life since 2014 because it came in my premium starter kit and I'm so glad and I didn't love the smell of it. Those of you who have it and you're not so sure about it, I didn't love the smell of joy right away. I told Leslie it smelled like um, an old lady's house. <laughs> all the different florals and such and she's like put it on your feet put it over your heart do what you got to do but you got to get it on your body like i don't diffuse it by itself i do it with happy camper you always hear me talk about that because the citrus oils help um but it smells amazing over your heart like it has a totally different smell on your body than it does in the bottle and if you still can't deal with it put it in a roller and add the tangerine and or the bergamot and orange or tangerine to that so that you can have happy camper over your heart because it does amazing things like my whole body feels warmer like i'm radiating that warmth out from my heart right now just such an uplifting thing where valor is like anti-anxiety joy is like antidepressant like it is just so uplifting over your heart and it's just pumping through my whole body like that Last step in the Great Day Protocol is White Angelica. Okay, I've heard lots of different things about White Angelica. Basically, you're able to just block the negativity, particularly if there's negative people around you. I don't know if you're like me. Um, I feed off of other people's moods and it affects me. Like I could be really, really happy and then someone could come in and start just grapping and telling me their bad day and they're mad or they're sad or whatever and then all of a sudden I'm feeling all those things that they are feeling and I like to block that out like being able to help people without having to feel their anger and all their frustration that they're laying out when they come and they're having a bad day and um, I would say more too than just blocking out um, negativity and helping us to stay positive it helps with my like frazzled mom nerves I probably could have applied it over my shoulders a little while ago when Lila fell and blood was coming out of her face and it would have helped me because I got myself all worked up the mama nerves okay white angelica like it bounces the negative energy off of you place a drop in your left palm okay rub your palms together inhale deeply Brush your palms over the crown of your head, down your neck, shoulders, chest, torso, all the way down to your feet. Okay, I don't always do that. I will tell you, like, yes, that's a part of Gary's Great Day Protocol, and it does make my hair smell nice and my clothes smell nice to where I still have that white Angelica with me all day long, so it's not bad. But I do like to put it with a roller and just roll it on my shoulders and just kind of rub it in and then 
smell it. So the biggest part of this to me is um, getting these oils on our body every morning. One, because we need a protocol, right? We need a plan. I have a plan for wellness. That's why I put thieves on my feet and Frank on my spine every morning and drink my Ninja Red. But I have a plan for my emotions too. Like I am a highly anxious person. Um, so I have the plan all the time every day, which is usually just the Valor Joy and White Angelica. But during a time like this, I like to bring out the heavy hitters, bring in the harmony, so I get the great day protocol in. I thought you guys might enjoy that right now too. If you don't have harmony, grab it with your ER points and it'll be here hopefully quickly and you can use it, but get started with what you have. If you've got the Valor and the Frank, or the Valor and the Joy and the White Angelica get started. If you've only got Valor and Joy, well you should be putting that on your body every morning anyway. <laughs> I have not had a day on purpose without Valor and Joy in it in almost six years. So just kind of going through this again, the Great Day Protocol, Valor, which we know is awesome for anxiety amongst lots of other things. People are even putting it on their husband's big toe to get them to stop snoring. But we've got it in our hand, taking a deep breath, slowing down, inhaling the oil, put a drop on the inside of your wrist and hold your wrist together for a minute. Say your prayer, Think about the day, say your affirmations, set your intentions for the day, whatever you wanna do at that time. And I think the really important thing, one, is that we're making a plan to get the oils on, and two, we're slowing down and smelling the oils. Because I don't think they help me as much when I'm just like, roll, 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 get out of the bathroom. Still better than nothing, but the day is when I take a minute and at least smell them out of the bottle before I roll them on makes a big difference. I saw something the other day, and this is kind of weird, but I saw something the other day where Gary used to smell the oil one nostril at a time. Like he would inhale from the left nostril, inhale from the right nostril, and then inhale all together. It made me feel good when I did it, I will just say that. Because these oils go to work in our brain. We don't talk about that enough. Yes, we get things on our body, we get the oils on our body, and two minutes it's in your bloodstream, 20 minutes it's every cell of your body. Everybody likes to talk about that because it's true and it's amazing, but the emotional oils in particular are so, so powerful because we breathe them and they go to work in 20 seconds. They're in the pineal gland in your brain going to work, okay? That is the emotional epicenter of your brain. It's powerful for emotions, it's powerful for sleep, that is why I diffuse emotional blends. That is why we always run our diffuser for sleep at night because diffusing for sleep is the most powerful way to affect sleep better than applying oils on your body, especially just putting oils on your body. You want them in that diffuser going for periods of time, breathing them in. It's really important that you're breathing the oils in and they can go to work in that emotional epicenter in your brain, which is also responsible for sleep. That's why we always diffuse next to our bed for sleep. But this is why we want to smell our emotional oils and not just slap them on our bodies and move on. So you've got the valor. We did hands, did inside wrist. So a drop in your hand, a drop inside your wrist, hold your wrist together. And then we went to harmony, put a drop in your hand, smelled it, applied it right below your rib cage, basically between your ribs and your um, belly button, okay? Then we had joy, we put it in our hand, we smelled it, we put it over our heart, took a moment and took a deep breath and enjoyed the joy. And then the last thing was the white angelica in our hand, inhaled it and then brushed it over our hair, shoulders, arms, legs, like your whole body. And this will make you just kind of smell. I will smell my arm, I'll smell my hair all day long. It smells amazing. I also like to make sure I get it real good on my shoulders because it really helps with my um, nerves like that. So I don't just brush a drop over. I also rose some on my shoulders and make sure it gets on there good. So that's the great day protocol. It is more than me just putting my Valor and Joy um, on in the morning. It is pulling out the big guns um, particularly helpful during high stress times, high anxiety times, high emotion times, um, you know, being stuck in your house because the whole world's got the coronavirus and your kids are losing their mind because they want to go outside and they want to play and they want to go to school and they want to do all the things and you're losing your mind because 
even getting groceries is hard now like and toilet paper don't get me started with toilet paper so we all have reason to be taking a moment every morning smelling our oils putting them on our bodies and protecting ourselves um, and keeping our spirits high you guys know that the mamas the wives we are the tone setter for the house if I come in joyful and ready to take on my day, everybody else is going to be joyful. If I come in cranky pants, tired, um, grouchy, everybody in the house is going to be grouchy. Like it brings the whole tone down. And sometimes I fail. Sometimes we have a bad day. But I try to keep the joy up. And I go in and, and take care of breakfast and stuff. And then the girls have... I'll bring naps and Lila plays with something while I get my morning Bible study on and we listen to worship music. She and I have this like quiet time and that really, really helps too when I am able to do that. So there's another tip for you. If you can get some quiet time, TV off, worship music on, study your Bible, pray. Um, I give Lila like a box of kinetic sand and she plays with it. Aubrey's down for her nap. So she says, mama, is it time for our quiet time? And it works really well. Um, next week she'll be tired of kinetic sand and I'll have to come up with something else. But she knows that it's quiet time and she sings along with the worship music. And it is really just the best part of my day, right? I love my time putting on my oils and smelling them and saying my prayer in the morning. And I love that quiet time um, with the Lord. Something else, Super B. <laughs> Super B is really, really, really helpful for mood and energy to the point that I have overnighted it more than once when I ran out because nobody in this house wants me to be out of Super B. Just like they don't want me to be out of Progestins Plus, but that's a whole different topic. We'll talk about that Thursday on the Hormone Zoom. Um, other great tips, diffuse in your house. And it doesn't always have to be about um, killing the germs, especially if you're quarantined in. Like no germs are coming in at this point, except for like the once a week my husband goes and gets the groceries and I make him go shower and do all of the things and change clothes and we these all of the things. But right now we're well and we're quarantined. So we'll still do like thieves once a day in the diffuser. But right now I'm doing emotional oils a lot to help us improve our emotions like something about getting it in our pineal gland smelling it all day long i call it my mama's superpower because i'm able to positively affect people's moods without their permission like i will be like hey we all need some happy camper in this house let's put that in the diffuser get that joy in the diffuser and lila's happier and drew is happier and aubrey's happier and mama's happier all the people are happier because we put a few drops of oil in the diffuser and ran it. I have the lantern diffuser in there so it can go up to 12 hours. I can set that sucker up in the morning and we can be joyful all day long, right? Okay, so those are my best tips for keeping joy, keeping your mood up, keeping things going well in your house when you're all quarantined together. We talk a lot about um, staying well. And that is great. And if you do get sick, we have lots of protocols for that. And you should still be using your staying well oils and stuff. But I have concentrated a little bit more since we've been quarantined on our emotional health and helping us sleep and not be anxious because we're not bringing germs in. We're staying home and we're all well. So that's good. Um, hopefully you guys are able to stay away from the germs. If you are not, I am praying for you guys. I'm praying for all of our healthcare workers, all of our people who are having to go out um, into the world and be exposed to the germs. That is so scary. This whole time right now has been difficult. If you have been struggling, get the oils on your body, have your quiet time with the Lord, and watch the video we did the other night. Several of the leaders from this group got together. We did a Zoom, you guys were all invited, and we also Facebook Live, or we didn't Facebook Live, but we, we posted it into this group, and it was about nine ladies, and we all like shared a couple of minutes of thoughts on things that were helping us right now at this time, and each said a prayer. And I floated on air the whole next day, just having the connection, seeing faces, hearing voices, and all praying together, it was amazing. Um, shout it out in the comments what oils you're using to help your family during this time. Stay well and then emotional health. You guys, emotional health is so tied to our physical health. Like we can actually make ourselves sick being worried. I did spend one whole day sick at my stomach because I made myself so anxious with all of this stuff. 
Um, talk to you later, friends. Let us know what oils are helping you.